France is on its highest security alert after a suspected terrorist attack at Notre Dame Basilica in Nice. A man armed with a knife killed three people before being captured by police. President Emmanuel Macron arrived on scene and says an extra 4,000 soldiers are being deployed to protect religious sites and schools. As Crystal Command Singh reports, the attack happened at a time of heightened tension between France and the Muslim world. And a warning, some of the details may be disturbing. Police gunfire at an iconic cathedral in the south of France. <laughs> Distressed citizens rushed to Nice's Notre Dame Basilica after hearing that three people had been killed in a horrific knife attack. Reports say an elderly woman was beheaded. The suspect now in custody in hospital. French President Emmanuel Macron expressing support for the Catholic parishioners, saying France stands at your side. Islamofascism is how the mayor of Nice described the events, saying France is paying too high of a price. Many are still mourning Samuel Paty. The teacher was beheaded last week in an attack supposedly in retaliation for him showing depictions of the Prophet Muhammad to his class, something considered to be blasphemous to Muslims. Earlier this month, Macron pledged to defend secular values and crack down on what he called Islamist separatism. Normal, everyday, majority of Muslims, as I have said, have, have nothing to do uh, with these kind of radicals. Lukman Ahmed says Muslims shouldn't have to point that out, but he feels they must. He says the goal of extremists is to alienate Muslims from the larger community, and it doesn't matter if they live in France or Canada. Whatever uh, happens in one country does not stay in one country in this age due to social media. As the sun set in Nice, people of all faiths expressed fear about copycat attacks. The attacker is said to be a 21-year-old Tunisian national who arrived in Europe in September. France's anti-terrorism prosecutor is investigating as the terror threat in France has now been raised to its highest level. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.